What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel where I review a wide variety of THC products to determine if you guys want to spend your hard earned money on them. And without further ado guys, got another banger for you today. Uh, yes sir, drum roll. Okay guys, we hitting you with some pre-packed red motherfucking velvet. Yes, sir. Turn it on the back. This shit's slapping at 20.74% THC. Terpenoid potency, 3.23%. Yes, guys, we got some pre-packed pre medical exotic. Okay, guys, so we're going to be reviewing Red Velvet today. I'm already faded. Red Velvet, guys. Just so you guys don't know, who am I? I'm the fucking biggest stoner in Kansas City. That's who I am. I'm the big stoner. I'm the biggest stoner in the Midwest. I smoke weed every day. Guys, I got content coming every day. I'm always giving away free shit. Speaking of, fourth person to comment on this video today will receive some red velvet, guys. You know? We'll receive some red velvet. <clears throat> Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Guys, weed is medicine, okay? So with that being said, let's get into the facts of this medicine. Red velvet. Red velvet strain is created by an unknown breeder. Interesting. This is a cross between the mystical but flamboyant orange velvet and red drum. Interesting. Both parental strains were quite potent and the orange velvet sativa inherited their potency. The THC ratio is between 15% and 18%. THC levels are fairly low, ranging from 0.07 to 0.45%. Okay guys, now keep in mind some of these numbers are gonna fluctuate. I just clearly showed you some red velvet slapping at 20.74. Okay, it's not super high guys, but all like every cart every 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 flower that i review it's all medical you know like it's all medical um so with that being said medical has higher potencies and higher levels because it's for people with chronic pain etc okay guys so with that being said let's go ahead and get into some of the strain facts regarding red velvet okay guys so some of the strain facts regarding red velvet strain highlights, the feelings associated with this strain is aroused, tingly, and uplifted. The negatives with this strain is it has been reported that you can be anxious, have dry eyes, or have a dry mouth. And then this helps with depression, anxiety, and fatigue. You know, so this is probably something that you're going to want to smoke maybe at lunch. You know, roll you up a little joint, put it in the one hitter. However you, however you get down with the get down, this would be a good one to do on lunch. You know. Now, guys, everybody was polled, okay? People were polled. Out of all the people polled, 11% of the people said that this helps with depression. 11% of the people says that this helps with anxiety. Excuse me, and 8% of people said that this helps with fatigue. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, guys, here's our here are some red velvet strain flavors. Okay. Here are some flavors that you can expect. You got rose, you got lavender, and you got flowery. Okay. Rose, lavender, and flowery. That being said, guys, let's go ahead and just get into a couple reviews and then I'll go ahead and give you guys my rating on this. Here's one, guys. It says, knocked off my rocker with half a joint. Cookies NJ does not mess around with this one. Great creamy smoke, 27% THC on this round. Great head high with the body high catching up right after it. This is some strong medicine. Highly recommend for anxiety, insomnia, overall blues. It's pure. Okay, so that guy rated it pretty high, guys. Um, let's go ahead and get into one more. Here's one. This person says, I purchased an eighth of medical red velvet cannabis from Cookies, and wow, oh wow. 
this strain was perfect after a long, hard day of work. See guys, it said uh, it helps with fatigue. So put two and two together. Uh, the buds are very dense and frosty. They are mainly light green, with bits of dark green and purple, as well as orange hairs throughout. Well, there we have it guys, you know. And uh, if you guys didn't check out my last video, we evolved it. We evolved a little section for the growers. So I just wanna devote this next section right here to the growers. Okay guys, hopefully something maybe that you, uh, I don't know how to grow weed, no freaking clue. You could, I couldn't make a million dollars if I grow weed. If you paid me, I just couldn't do it. So that being said, if uh, you growers hear something that speaks your, your curiosity, man, let me know. I wanna hear about this shit, how'd it come out? So here we go, guys. So here's some growing info. Flowering time is 56 to 66 days. The harvest time is 73 days. The height indoor is 60 to 80. The flowering type is photo period. The yield outdoor is 15 to 20 ounces per plant. And the height outdoor is 90. The growth difficulty is moderate. And the yield indoor is one to two ounces. FT to the second power. Don't know what that is, my growers. Sorry guys, sorry. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my, my, my rating on this. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this at eight on taste. I'm gonna rate this an eight on potency. You know, and I'm gonna go ahead and rate this an eight on effect. <coughs> I am pretty really lit, guys, but I've had some weed that's got me higher faster. So that's why I give it the eight. With that being said, guys, to all my run lovers, yes, sir. Next video that I do, guys, we're gonna be sampling some pink runs, guys, some more pre-packed. This is slapping at 22%, okay, guys? So stay tuned for that. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell notification on. I'm posting content every day, guys. As you can see, the first per fourth person to comment on this video is gonna receive an eighth of some bang, so. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Drop a comment, good or bad. I'm trying to hear from you. And we gonna what? We gonna make it happen. Thanks, guys.